as Miles O'Brien in Star Trek. This year, though, saw an outstanding performance from him in The Damned United, and he recently received the ultimate Hollywood accolade when he was invited to guest star in The Simpsons. He's been back in Ireland filming this week, and it's always a pleasure to have him on the show, so please welcome Mr. Colin Meany, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Nice one, guys. Thank you. Thank you. What nice was one. that piece of music they watched you on? That, I, I, well, that immediately brought me back to an episode of Star Trek. Many, many years ago, Deep Space Nine, I actually sang that song. It's one of my few singing engagements. Which is? The Minstrel Boy. Yes. And you sang it on Star Trek. I they did, must have loved yeah, that in yeah. the universe up above. They did, they did. Yeah, why wouldn't you do that? Yeah. How did you end up in The Simpsons, Colin? Uh, but they, they, they called me and asked me. They were doing the special St. Patrick's Day one, and I think they wanted to... Uh, uh, Glenn Hansard um, was also on it on that episode. Yeah. Uh, so they were, yeah, they wanted just wanted some 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 genuine Irish in there, I think, because they had enough uh, fake Irish. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and they they asked me to do it. And I, I read it. and I thought it was very funny. So. Yeah. It was good old laugh. And was it yeah. a long process? I mean, do you hang out with all the cast, or is no, it just? No, no, you're in around ten minutes. Oh, don't kill the magic He's disappointed, for isn't he? I thought you were going to hang out with Homer. No, no, no. Well, Homer isn't real. No, he is. Ryan. I thought you Homer's were not real, no. Is he he's, not? He, no, he's... You're wrecking everything. I'm sorry. <laughs> Rooney every one Saturday night. Sure. At least the Easter Bunny is no, safe. No, I was... I, I literally... I, I, I <laughs> safe from people like you. I, I was actually, I recorded that in about 20 minutes. Gosh, what, in mm. phone booths or like there was an... No, no, it was, it was over at the, at the Fox studio, but uh, it was you, a real studio, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay? Don't wreck all my dreams in one interview. <laughs> the, the, uh, the, the episode itself, you're, you're, <clears throat> excuse me, you're, you're uh, Tom, is it O'Flanagan? Is that your, you're the bar owner? I, I think. can't remember the name. I think you're Tom O'Flanagan. Am I? Oh, okay. <clears throat> I take your word for it. Are you sure you did this? <laughs> Have a look at this. Run, you big sack of glue. Tom O'Flanagan? Quiet. They're in the home stretch now. Come on, come on. Move your fetlocks. Oh, damn it, will you ever win this race? This broadcast is from 1979. Yes, I'm just an old man yelling at me tapes. Oh, I've got lots of time for that now. No one comes into me bar anymore. It's been years since I've sold so much as a pint. Don't you mean pint? Well, it's been so long I've forgotten how to say it. It's a joke to even call this place a pube. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. That was funny. I suppose yeah. it's, it's good to see the representation of Ireland has moved on dramatically. Absolutely, yeah. Well, what was <clears throat> what was really interesting for me about that was that it was it was you know we it came out I think uh, on St Patrick's Day in the yeah. States and I recorded it maybe a month or so before but it's like it's talking about obviously Ireland of the Celtic Tiger and that nobody coming into the pub anymore because they're all busy working and stuff oh, like that. How things change. Uh, exactly, and it was already out of date. You Are know, you still drinking like, in Fagan's Bertie's old? I do. I Were you there this on this visit yet? Since I was. I was in it last uh, briefly on Sunday. Yeah. Briefly, for an Irishman, is what six pints? No, nah, about, about that. Thereabouts. Yeah. What? What? What's the vibe on the? What's the the, the atmosphere on the on the bar stools of of, of Fagans? And... Um, it's sort of, I think, just resigned to you know, yeah. as, as it is everywhere. To say, I mean, very much in the states too. It's it's very people are kind of. I mean, there's been so much bad news, just consistently coming. What do you out, make you know? of, of Ireland when you come back now in the last few visits, for example? Do you think it's changed dramatically, or are you? away from all of that too long to notice. Do you notice anything? Yeah, I mean, I, it's, it's definitely changed. I mean, it's, it's the last 10 years, especially, an accelerated kind of a change. And, and, and some of it's good. I mean, there's, you know, there's great restaurants and there's a lot more, I suppose, variety now. Um, you do see the okay, you know, occasional uh, um, foreigner on the streets now, which I remember we came here to shoot in far and away. <laughs> How long have you been away, Colin? <laughs> We came here to shoot Far and Away in 1993, which is not that long ago, yeah. if you think about it. No, that is big. And an American actor had said to me, after about a week here, he said, I've been trying to figure out what it is about Dublin, and I just realized there are no black faces. Yeah. 
It was just a sea of white faces, which was kind of strange to him. Yeah, you know? yeah. Now that has changed. That, yeah. That's one definite change. That's and I think we, it's for the it's it's very much for the better. But I suppose a lot of people. I mean, our what? gene pool was getting a bit dodgy. I think you know. <laughs> we need to. No, yeah. I think they look. I mean, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> need to fat me up a bit, you know. See the way the audience is just full of Judas Iscariots. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's get him, lynch him. Fickle. But, but I suppose a lot of people watching tonight will have seen the, 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 the difference in the last 12 months, literally, in the world, in, in Ireland, I should say, the way things have gone and jobs have been lost and money yeah. is tight and things have changed dramatically on the ground. But I suppose maybe you don't notice that as much because you're not here long enough to, t to see that. Yeah, I mean I, I mean, I think there still seems to be money around. I mean, I was you know, around town last night. There were lots of people out enjoying themselves. Yeah. Well, I suppose it's pints over champagne, maybe that's the, maybe. That's the difference. Uh, you were, you're, the last time I spoke to you, you were staying with your mum, who's here tonight, mm -hmm. um, who's not shy, I'm glad to say. She's always very pleasant. She <laughs> gives a big welcome this, this evening. And are you staying with her now, or are you staying mm -hmm. in, in the Four Seasons or somewhere past? No, it's like, no, Glass Devon, yeah. And do you have your, is this your original bedroom? No, no. No, this, 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 this is not the original house I grew up in. This is a different house. This isn't but I have some of the things from my original bedroom like what? in there. Like uh, Teddy. You don't really, do you? No. Oh, come on. <laughs> you're, you're He'd right. believe anything, wouldn't he? Yeah, I would. No, no Teddy, no, no posters. No, no, Teddy. No, I mean, I have, I have things like, you know, books and stuff like that, okay. that, that, were, that, that were around then, yeah. Do you get, uh, like, your mummy's boy, does she get, get had a cup of tea, Colin? Listen, I came in, we came in last Sunday, and we had the best Sunday dinner in a yeah. year. So you and get she on. had it ready for us. It was great. So yeah. nothing changes then. Absolutely. You're, you're living in Spain a lot. I mean, mm -hmm. you're kind of to and from. And so did you watch Barcelona playing during the week? Would you, yes, I did. And yeah. where would you be supporting in that response? I would be supporting Barcelona. And would you have been happy with what happened uh, during the week? And, yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm just glad they got through. Even under the circumstances? Uh, well, I mean, they scored, I mean, I don't know what to say. You know, they scored a great goal. Iniesta's goal was a great goal. Um, I mean, I think if the situation had been reversed, Chelsea would have been quite happy to go through that way. You so know? you just take it as, 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 as it happens? Yeah, and I, th I, think, I think, you know, over the course of the two games, Chelsea played a very negative kind of football. And okay. They, and they did a good job on Barcelona. They contained them. But, but I, you know, Barcelona are a better football team. Where will you watch the final? Then? Hopefully I'll be back in Spain for it, yeah. Yeah, uh, sticking mm. with uh, soccer, because the Damned United, which mm. was, I just thought it was a terrific book, by the way. Did you read the it book? It was a great book, yeah. Yeah, I love the book. And then you, you played Don mm -hmm. Revy in the movie then. Yep. We, we had Michael Sheen sitting there only a few weeks ago, actually, ah, uh, yeah. doing the clough, uh, as, as you did right, to, to, to yes, his very, his cloth. very, very good. good, yes. But your Revy was, was brilliant, too. Did you, wh wh where did the, uh, that come from? Did you want to, did you read the book and say, I want that, or did you get yeah, approached Yeah, first? I, I read the work? book a few years ago, and, and, and I loved it. It's an amazing book. It really it's is, good. and I'm, it's not just a sports lover's no, book. No. That's what I think is kind of interesting. He's an extraordinary writer, David Pease. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I very much wanted it. And at the time, Stephen Preer, Stephen Frears, my old buddy from Snapper and the yeah. Man, was attached to it, and I, uh, Stephen was over at my house in, 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 in Los Angeles, and, and I said to him, "Listen, man, if you do, if you, you know, when you get to, I really want to play, play, uh, play Revy," and his response was, "You can't possibly play Revy. You're Irish." Yes. You know. So you proved him wrong, anyway. That's for sure. yeah, yeah. But he, of course, he didn't end up directing. No. It. Uh, was it daunting to, to play Revy, who would be iconic in football?